All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to our High Fleet campaign. Uh, we have just taken out an enemy strike force, so there should only be four left. Some light damage to our own uh, ships, but nothing too crazy. First things first, just going to secure their fuel tanks. And then we actually have a bit of a Sitzkrieg left to do here for the moment. Our morale is down across the board because of an event uh, a couple episodes ago. We also have just, uh, well, made it so that silent strikes are impossible for the next 12 hours. So uh, we're going to be waiting out that alarm clock and just kind of getting things back to, uh, well, I guess a good starting point for us to continue from. So <clears throat> we have one task force in the upper left, I guess northwest. Most of our forces are either in the center, here at Bochum, or over in the northeast. Now, in order to take on that strike group, I actually did uh, put together both of our negotiators, and those are usually supposed to be, anyway, our heavy hitters, one on each uh, flank of this northern approach to uh, Kiva. At least I think it's to Kiva. Yeah, to Kiva. Uh, so we'll have to split them up again, probably send one up to Ashdod, where there is uh, cheaper fuel, but then send the other over to help out with the northwestern thrust through uh, Uruk and Adra. Uh, almost done with the rescue orders, I wish. Uh, I don't really want to spend the time on this. Let's see if I can just... Oh, no, it, it automatically does it. I'd much rather be refueling than sitting there, because Bochum is dangerous, uh, but we need the fuel. So the longer we stay there, the higher the chance that we'll reset our silent strike timer, which is not exactly ideal. Um, so we've gotten our fuel out of the way there. I don't think it'd be a good idea to make repairs here. I mean... We've been sitting for a little bit at this sort of uh, horizontal parallel, as you can see from the fact that most of these cities are dangerous for us right now. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and go to Shipworks. Um, if I do repairs, see how long that'll take. Total repair time, 6.6 .6 hours. So we'll repair one negotiator, that's fine. Uh, go ahead and okay that. Uh, the other one needs more work, I think. Yeah. We need to get this guy over to a section where we do have cheaper repairs available. Um, let's go ahead and exit, and then the reason I've done that is because it will take us some amount of time as well to refuel, and I want to be able to get to Gajar, but also to Urgut Fuel Storage, where the fuel will be a little bit cheaper. Um, we are going to sell all one single incendiary round, not too bad, and let's see, it should take us a while to refuel and repair, that's my main concern is, uh, well, not being able to move out of there until after they raise the alarm again. Our main flagship, the Neva, is headed northeast towards Samra, uh, and let's see, here we have Meteor, Skylark, they're fueling, I believe? Yes, they are fueling. Uh, we're going to send them up to Nimra. Uh, these are old markings for transports several days ago, even, and I think we've actually taken that one down, so I think that was the one that went toward Bochum, and we did intercept them successfully. So, no real issues there. Uh, I'd like for morale to get a little bit better at Samra before we head up north to Shaibad, but I don't want that situ that spot to get dangerous before the Neva gets there. Okay, well that's fine. We've proven before that we can use the... Um, well, we can basically bait them into a trap, right? Like, the whole idea of it being dangerous is one, it makes silent strikes impossible, but two, um, <clears throat> that it lures strike groups. Strike groups that hopefully, I won't eat my words later for this, hopefully we should be able to overcome. So, um, we're gonna go to Kala. The reason we're doing that is I don't want to trigger another alarm. I also don't want to fight without a uh, sudden strike here. So if we go to Kala, it's an intel center with four intelligence, we should be able to get some new information about our enemy's whereabouts, uh, and hopefully let this sudden strike alarm no longer be something to worry about. Uh, we're gonna have to keep an eye on the route, it might become dangerous as well, and as soon as we can move from Bochum, we should. Okay, so we've landed at Kala. Let's take a look, are there enemy strike groups nearby? Okay, so the nearest one we got intel on is all the way up at uh, Gazem. It's not too bad. About trade. 
Oh, past Gossam. And more trade. Okay, so it's all the way up there. It's a little bit unfortunate. It's going to be quite a while before we can get more, um, well, more income then, which something I was worried about when we hired mercenaries. I was kind of thinking, well, you know, what, what happens basically if we uh, go a while between being able to get more, more money? So we'll have to do some salvaging of... Uh, some salvaging of ammunition and sell the ammunition from the places that we conquer. Now we've refueled at Bochum, but we still have 1.3 hours left on the repair. Now that's done, we can go ahead and pause and let's split up our negotiators. So we have one that is, oh wow, these guys really have very short range. Um, <clears throat> one that's fully repaired, and one that needs some pretty heavy repairs. I'd almost like to take it up to Nimrath. Uh, okay, well, let's head toward Gajar. And let them head on their way. That's good. Now we can take the other two and head toward Urgit. We'll need to refuel up both because the negotiators are fuel hungry monsters, shall we say. And <clears throat> Sound Strike is nearly possible again, so let's start heading up toward Shaibad. We should be able to do a sudden strike by the time we get there. Same for moving up to Uruk. Okay, so not a lot going on uh, this time in terms of combat, but well, we have gotten back on our feet, I suppose. Um, why are we fueling already at Gajar? That's interesting. Supplies. Let's go ahead and get more fuel because we have to get up to the roots. It's okay. Alright, so that'll be it for right now. Thank you guys for hanging around, and we'll see you again real soon.